In this video we are going to use a different approach to prove Leibniz's rule. We are going to prove it with differentials. Differentials of functions. If you, don't, if you don't know what a differential of a function is, you can check my video on differentials of functions. Let's evaluate the following product f plus differential of f times g plus differential of g f times g plus f times differential of g plus differential of f times g we put it uh, the other way around but it's the same, they commute plus differential of f times differential of g Now let's consider f and g as functions of x that they have they have been from the very beginning and uh, let's recall what the definition of a differential was differential of f of x is f of x plus differential of, a, of x minus f of x and the same thing for g of x for differential of g of x where in both cases differential of x is a, an infinitely small increment of x if you don't know where this uh, comes from Check my video on the definition of differentials. Okay, so now let's take this to this side and this to this side. And as we can see, this is the same as this and this is the same as that so we are going to replace these two factors by these two factors which are the same and that's what we get now let's introduce the x to show the dependence of these functions of the variable x that we have avoided from the beginning just for an economy of writing well and now we are going to make vanish one of those terms it's actually this term with the product of differentials being the differential of a function a very small amount an infinitely small amount when we multiply two differentials that amount becomes even smaller um, in the language of uh, limits we would say that uh, the differential the product of two differentials tends to zero faster than uh, when we have only one differential so, so that's why we can uh, make this term vanish so in the language of limits it does not contribute to the whole term and at this point we're almost there let's move this term to the other side here and let's recall again the the definition for the differential of a function differential of a function f of x equals f of x plus differential of x minus f of x if we apply this to the product of two functions differential of f of x times g of x we get f of x plus differential of x times g of x plus differential of x minus f of x g of x and that's exactly what we have here so we are going to replace this here and we will have what we are looking for 
and here we have Leibniz rule for differentials of functions. If we divide both sides by a differential of x, we get we get the Leibniz rule for derivative of functions because differential of a function divided differential of x is the derivative of that function. So this is the derivative of f times g, this is the derivative of f, and this is the derivative of g. So here is once again Leibniz rule for the de derivative of a product of two functions.